Everybody, I want you to bow your head and close your eyes, please. Father, we thank you for this day, for another time to come and learn of you. Father, I pray that you would anoint each ears, each ear, Lord, as they listen to the lesson. Anoint my mouth as I speak. And let this be a time of learning for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I thought you said anoint. 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 When God's blessing comes on you, it is completely the opposite of annoying. Anointing is the greatest thing. When God anoints you, oh my goodness, it is the greatest thing. All right. Raina, I need you to sit up, please. Raina, I need you to sit up, please. All right. Put your back end on your seat. There you go. Put your back on that. Put your seat on your seat. All right, now, again, who likes french fries without salt on it? No salt. No nothing. You guys should all go to In-N-Out. In-N-Out has the most disgusting fries. No, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I think the fries are disgusting. Unless you unless you load them up with, uh, with the sauce, and, or if you get them animal style, they're kind of soggy and they're kind of tasteless. You know that's that's what French fries taste like without salt. So why am I why am I talking about that? Whoever's got their Bibles this morning, open your Bibles and turn to Matthew. Matthew chapter five. So, again, split your Bible, take the back half, split your Bible, and you're going to be pretty close to Matthew. I hit Luke, but I know Matthew's just too before that. Okay, so three books before, three books before John. There you go, okay, because you've got a bookmark on it. That's why. You're cheating. You're cheating. you got a bookmark in Matthew. All right. You want, like, salt? Xander, put your name on your cup, please, okay? Ready? Boom, good catch. Before, before you fill it with water. There you go. Matthew chapter 5. Everybody there? No. No? Yes. All right, let's see. Matthew, Ephesians, Acts, John, Luke, Luke Mark, and Matthew. By chapter 5. What you got? Okay, you're there. You're in Acts. John, yeah, you've got a New Testament only, so yours will be right at the front. There's Matthew, and look for V. Matthew V, which is next to you. That's a special pen. Doesn't this? Don't get All right, anybody else got a Bible that needs to find Matthew? Okay, so now this is starting with 38, so you need to go back to 13. There's chapter 5, and you go down the numbers to find 13. All right, everybody got Matthew 5, 13? Yeah. You need a hand here? You got it? All right, you'll find it then. You got it? You got it. Yeah, he's, oh, he's got it. All right, listen to this. Listen to this, guys. Listen up. Listen up. It says, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. I like potato chips. Do you like potato chips? Yeah. Do you like potato chips? Yeah. Do you like potato chips with or without salt? I like that with both. You like, do you like salty or do you like not salty? Like do, you, salty. do you ever have potato chips without salt? Oh, yeah. Yes. 
They taste like nothing, right? Yeah, they taste sun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Potato. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Potato chips without salt. That will get on the real. I think they're disgusting. I, that's just me. I much prefer my potato chips with salt. Right? Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. If you eat potato chips with salt, does that make you thirsty? Does it? Does that make you guys thirsty? When you eat potato chips with salt? If you eat a lot of potato chips, right? Does that make you thirsty? It has to be. Here's the thing. The Bible says, finger, when I'm talking, you're not. The Bible says that we are like salt in the earth. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean, here, Raina, Raina, before you put that, you want to put your name on it, please? Oops, let me, when you're done, just put this on the table. Put your name on your cup so that you'll know which one's yours. And then fill it with water. Don't fill it with water and then try to put your name on it, otherwise you dump the water all over yourself. Alright, so, so, why does the Bible say that we're supposed to be like salt? So we're supposed to be, what, all white and grainy and, uh, and get everywhere? No. Right, right? No. You know, you, you get the salt, you get the french fries in your bag, and when you pull the french fries out of your bag, there's all this salt in the bottom of your bag. Yeah. Is that what we're supposed to be like? We're supposed to get everywhere? Yeah. No. You see, salt makes things taste better. Yeah. Right? You think so? I think so. Salt makes things taste better. Let me tell you something. This world leaves us with a bad taste in our mouth. It really does. Who likes onions? Man, a couple of you guys actually like onions. Wow. I never heard of kids that liked onions. I used to hate onions when I was a kid. I, I love onions now. No, not onion rings. Not onion rings. Just onions. Onions. Okay. Most people don't. Okay, you guys are weird. I hate them. You can put your hands down. You guys can put your hands down. You, you guys are just plain weird. And that's not a bad thing. Weird is good. I think weird is good. But. Let's see. Let me think of something. What's the most disgusting thing you can think of eating? What's the most disgusting oh, thing you can think of eating? Oh, oh, oh. Pickles. What's the most disgusting thing? Peanuts, pee. That's <laughs> why, why would you eat that? Chopped liver. Chopped liver. Chopped liver. Chopped liver. I, I can go with that. What's disgusting? Raw eggs. Yourself. Me. You're not funny. What's disgusting? Eating rats. Oh, You're not, you guys are not funny, okay? Uh, What's disgusting to eat? Uh, uh, raw eggs. Raw eggs. I have never eaten an animal that's still alive, okay? You got one? What you, what's, what's disgusting to eat? Expired milk. Expired milk, yeah, right? I know. I know. You like fish, but what's gross? What do you think is yucky? Let me tell you, let me tell you this, let me tell you this, this world can be very yucky, it can leave a yucky taste in your mouth, and we as Christians, because we love Jesus, and because we love Jesus, we love each other, right, 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 am I right as rain ran, right, because we love Jesus, we actually help to make the world taste better. It does. We don't leave a disgusting taste in people's mouths. You ever meet somebody that was really ugly? I mean, I don't mean ugly looking. I mean they're they're just ugly. They got a bad attitude. You hate to be around them, right? Yeah. Right. But as Christians, please put that on. As Christians, Yay. we are 
not supposed to be like that. If you are acting out of love, people are going to want to be around you. Just like people like to have salt on their french fries because it makes it taste better, because they like to have salt on their potato chips because it makes them taste better, people will want to be around us because we make this world taste better. How's that bite you, huh? Weird. Yeah, weird, huh? Here's another thing about salt. Now, maybe you've noticed, but we've got a couple new appliances back there. A refrigerator and a freezer. That's never been there before. I was surprised when I walked in here this morning. I walked in here and I could hear this humming noise. And I, what's that humming noise? And I'm looking around, and also I look back there, and there's a refrigerator back there. Mm. And it dawned on me. You see, way back when, long before I was born, so that means it's really old, people didn't have refrigerators. Yay. Now, what happens if you have hamburger, raw hamburger, and you don't have a refrigerator or a freezer to put it into? And all you can do is leave it sitting out on the counter. What happens to it? It goes bad. It goes bad, right? It gets disgusting. Do you know how? The, <clears throat> excuse me. Do you know how people kept food from getting disgusting back then? They put salt in it because the salt. And I'd have to. I'd have to go into the formula for salt. All right. Salt is sodium. Chloride, which NaCl, but the chloride part preserves, keeps from going bad. That's what we do. That's what we do. Have you ever noticed that the that people, a lot of people out there are bad? There are a lot of people out there that are bad. Last Sunday night, we went out to eat. And as I was getting ready to pull into the restaurant, all of a sudden this car started to come out of the restaurant driveway. Now, he was supposed to wait for me because I was on, out on the street. And he started out, and I just, uh, quickly turned so that I wouldn't hit him. And then he came out and he came around me. And you know what he did to me? He flipped me off like it was my fault. He stuck up his middle finger at me as if it was my fault. It was his fault. People like that are just bad people. Here's the thing. The world needs some good people in it. Now, how do we how do we become those good people? How do we become those good people? Be nice to people. Okay. What makes us be nice to people, Reina? It almost smells as 
bad as a little brother. Oh, oh, oh. Right? What did you have to say, Sophia? Yeah, you're saying it to Leo. Guys, 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 listen up. Sophia's got something to say.
You are the light, Kaylee. You are the light of the world. What happens if you hide your light? It's going to be dark. It's going to be dark. The world's going to be filled with darkness and evil. If you hide your light, are you good to anybody? No. Yes. A light that is hidden is good for nothing. If I go into a dark room and I have a flashlight and I put something over the flashlight, what good is that flashlight? No, no good. So if we are the light of the world, if we hide that light within us, who's the light within us? God. Yes! If we hide the light that's within us, we are no good to the world. But if we let the light shine, then the world can see. The world can see the light. And that's why the Bible says we are salt and light in this world. <clears throat> Be the light of the world. Shine the gospel of Jesus. Love people. That will make a difference. Because people hate each other. People say bad words to each other. People do bad things to each other. Be different. Be weird. Love each other. That's going to be weird if you love each other. Be weird. All right, I want everybody to bow your heads. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, you said that we are the salt of the earth. And you said that we are the light of the world. It's not the goodness that is in us, but rather it is the goodness of you in us. Father, I ask you that you would help your light shine out through us. Lord, that you would help us to be the salt of the earth. That we might be preserving. And that we might be different. Lord, let us to be good and weird for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.